video shares a creative way to engage students through a standards-based project that incorporates real-world skills and relevant subject material. Hi, my name is Marcia Danes and I'm principal at Castaic Middle School in Castaic, California, which is about 40 miles north of LA. Today is Portfolio Day and it's a very exciting time for our 8th grade students. They have in their language arts class worked on a portfolio the entire year and it's totally based on the language arts standards. And what they do is every trimester they turn in their portfolio that represents their best work and how they are meeting the standards in language arts. At the end of the year, which is the culminating activity, and that is today, uh, the students are basically going through an interview. So it's a, definitely a real life skill in the fact that we promote and encourage and teach them to dress as they would for an interview. And they walk into the NPR and they have been assigned an evaluator who is a member of the community. And a lot of times it's individuals that they don't know. It could be spouses or family members of our staff. Definitely we have board members. We also have our superintendent and people from the district office. But we have a wide variety of evaluators that come from the community. And so it's very nice for the young people to have to walk in and have, give them a, a really nice handshake, introduce themselves, and use the skills that they will be using in the future as they go out into the world of work and have job interviews. In this section, you will see how students organize and present their portfolios to share selected schoolwork demonstrating mastery of specific content standards. My name is Heather Bernabe, and I'm an eighth grade language arts teacher here at Castaic Middle School. We start at the beginning of the year, we say, okay, what standards do we need to meet? And then we say, how will, we, how will that look in a portfolio? What assignments are we going to be doing that students can really have evidence for their portfolio? Um, this is my evaluation letter that I'm going to read to you. Okay. A portfolio is a collection of work arranged in specific groups. Well, in my case, the groups are divided by the eighth grade standard. This includes standards like speaking, writing conventions, and several others. A portfolio is a way to organize your work. It is a summary of the material that I, that I need and assignments I do to demonstrate the material. We did a lot of uh, presentations, like the survival flag presentation, shell poem, civil war, and we just did a lot. And I think I, I did really good on Yeah, you sure did. You got most, mostly fours on almost everything. Yeah. I worked with my history teacher and my science teacher on my team. And what we did is rather than making our portfolios specifically language arts based, we made them interdisciplinary, but sort of from a language arts perspective. So it became not only how do you use your language arts skills in your language arts class, but also how do you use your language arts skills throughout all of your classes. This is a presentation we did in history class, and this is the Western Frontier presentation, which we have to like make a presentation on a chapter in cha like the western frontier. We do put their benchmarks and test scores in there and we, they graph their progress on those things and they talk about test scores. This is my chart, my graph, and my highest, my strongest growth has been in vocabulary, the green, and literary analysis, which they both go up the same okay. rate. So that they have you know, the testing evidence for the standard, but also other means of, of proving that they've really mastered that standard through a more authentic assessment, such as career bro our career brochure, our Civil War newspaper, um, and many other assignments that we do. And this is my okay. Civil War newspaper. And this is the thing you like the best, right? Right. It like helped me like learn how to make columns and stuff on the computer. My name is Pilar Scott Walker. I am one of the executive board members here at Castaic Middle School. There's a rubrics that we work with that uh, we evaluate the kids from a score from, from one to four. And it's in different areas. It, it consists of their dress. Also, um, we're, we're evaluating how their portfolio looks in general. We want to make sure that it's very neat, it's very organized, they're page protectors. Portfolio Day engages students by giving them the opportunity to experience the real-world skill of interviewing. Students make presentations that share their best schoolwork, their career research, 
and their talents and hobbies. They also respond to questions posed by the evaluator. I'm Jim Gibson, and I'm superintendent of the Castaic Union School District. Present and promote the activity in your community, because what I think one of the things you want to do is you want to get as many community members from the outside into the school. You want them to understand how strong and accomplished your children are, and you want them to be a part of the educational process. I really enjoy being involved with Portfolio Day because it gives the children a chance to kind of experience what a job interview is going to be like. It's really a great opportunity for the kids to come in. They've got to dress up and really experience what it's like to be an adult. They also get a chance to speak about their goals, their dreams. Uh, my name is Michael Gunner. As a, as a business person in the area, I particularly enjoyed the, the career brochure that they prepared which I think really focused on you know, professional development and goals that they would be, would, be, would be working on. When I grow up, I'd like to be a pediatrician. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to learn more. This is my resume for when I was going to be a lawyer. This is my brochure. And, yeah, and I still want to be a cop. I wanna, How come? I just want to help people. And all my, like, most of my friends' dads are cops, and it just seems like a fun idea. And it, like, you get paid well, too. The technology was extremely impressive. They did um, multimedia, uh, showing me, you know, DVD clips of things they had done. I think it really showed that there's an emphasis on being well-rounded and not just focusing on academics. It's a very proud time when they come in and show what they've done, not only in the classroom, but they can also bring in a special talent, whether it's playing the piano or a dance recital video and it is an opportunity to really shine what they are able to do on many different levels. Um, I've been playing bass for about a year and guitar for like five months. And you do piano too? Yeah. How long have you been playing piano? Since third grade. I plan to continue um, playing music throughout high school and I want to be, I want to be a musician um, when I grow up and after high school I plan on going to Cal Arts or the School. Mm -hmm. You know, you take these rowdy eighth graders who are tripping each other and pushing each other outside, you dress them up, you give them their portfolio, and they become a different person. And they really, um, you know, they really put on their, their best performance. And Portfolio Day, you really get to see the whole student. I chose these pictures because it shows that I started off as a little girl playing with her paddle ball in her tent, and now I'm graduating middle school. Portfolio Day experience prepares students to give presentations which will continue to be a critical skill needed throughout high school and beyond. Gives middle grade students a real world experience of job interviewing. Introduces students to community members who are also potential future employers. Building portfolios helps students organize their work and assess their own growth over time afford students the opportunity to track their own progress and demonstrate their achievement according to California academic content standards. Engages students in their own learning and development by giving them the opportunity to talk about their best schoolwork, their career aspirations, and their interests, talents, and hobbies. Portfolios include assignments that incorporate career exploration and planning. Portfolio Day creates a natural partnership with community members. Community members serve as evaluators on Portfolio Day, observe what students are learning, validate the work that students have accomplished, discover student potential as future employees.